going to show you how to trim out a niche with metal trim using a chop saw and make it look professional. Okay, so I'm making a niche here for this, for this little cubby here, for this little niche. There's a couple of ways to do this niche. Now one looks better than the other. Now here I just mark this up so you can see the difference. Um, so I'm not actually not going to do it this way. So you can, what I'm specifically talking about is these, these corners here. See how that's like that and just you know cut the corner and cut it straight now that that'll look okay but if you want to make it look better we should miter these corners and I'm going to show you how to do that okay so just so you don't get confused so when you cut these you can put like a little mark on it like that and like that when you go to cut these it can be confusing which way to cut it and then you put a little mark so you know that that goes together like that So there are several ways to cut these Schluter metals. Um, you can use a hacksaw or you can even uh, cut them on a wet saw. But the only way to get a really clean, precise cut is with a chop saw. Now this chop saw just happens to be the general contractors that was on the job site. I actually have a smaller chop saw because you don't need a huge big chop saw with a non-ferrous blade on it uh, that I use. So when you're cutting these metals you want to make sure that you hold it firmly up against uh, the the guide and be very very careful because these um, metals can catch they can bend very easily so you got to be be really uh, careful with these saws okay so I find the easiest way to measure and cut these is just to measure the length from corner to corner, cut the metal to length, and then just chop off the miters off, um, off the ends. Instead of trying to cut the miter off a long piece, cut the metal to length, and then just trim off the little corners to make the miter. So just to clarify, uh, the blade on this chop saw is a carbide blade and it's got a lot of teeth. Uh, on the small saw that I use, I actually have a non-ferrous blade specifically made for cutting aluminum. The type of blade matters. So leave your comments in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe and I'll leave a bunch of links in the description. Um, that you might find useful. Okay, so I haven't installed it properly yet. Obviously, I'm just doing this to, to show. So, it's a much more professional look. So just to recap, this is what it looks like when you just do a straight cut. Okay, so that's what it looks like when it's done. <laughs>